Hey guys, welcome to the bathroom. Sorry for the echo, but today I'm gonna to be doing a beard trim to address my transparency at the bottom. Now I'm gonna look away from the camera, but with my beard here, I got a little band of about an inch, inch and a half that's just getting a little bit too transparent for my own liking. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this trim. It's usually about once every four to six months and pretty much all beardsmen need to do this. Nobody's beard is gonna grow evenly, perfectly. There's gonna be areas that grow faster than the others. So from time to time to get that best looking beard, best performing beard, you wanna even it out. So I'm really only gonna be using two different tools today. Uh, the first one is the Brio Beardscape Trimmer. This is not sponsored. They have no idea I am making this video. I don't make money off them. Not that that should matter, but I just want to make sure I put that out there. This is just simply what I use. I'm not going to be using scissors. I like to use a trimmer kind of freehand style for me. And then the second is my Chicago comb number eight. Also, they don't know I'm making this video. Never made a penny from them. It's not sponsored. This is just actually what I use, these two tools here. So what I'm going to try to do is I love the shape of my beard right now. I love the size of my beard. Everything is awesome. I just want to address that transparency. So from about here, I'm going to kind of make this line going up around here, and I'm just going to make this simple trim. But beforehand, I want to make sure everything's all nice and neat. couple of key points. My beard is styled the way I normally do it. I took a shower this morning. I applied beard oil. I used heat. Now it is all sank in. My beard is completely dry, completely absorbed. I don't have grease in there. It's not wet. And I'm going to trim from the style I wear it. That is super important. Anybody tells you otherwise, they don't really know. I'm just kidding. It's personal preference, but I do believe this is better. So I want to make sure my beard is laying exactly like I like it. And then I'm going to trim from that point. Now, the biggest thing here is having confidence. Pick your line and go with it. That's all I can really say about this. So for me, I'm going to visualize it, I'm kind of draw my line in my head here. And you'll see that I like to start with kind of guidelines. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more. And I'm going to take off probably an inch or two today, and which is for most people, two to four months of growth. So this is a significant trim. But for me, I would rather have that full beard. Sometimes it's addition by subtraction. By taking away some of the transparencies, your beard looks bigger, looks fuller, looks healthier. All right. So again, my line is going to be right at about here. And I think today I'm going to start on the sides. I'm going to kind of work my way through and come around to the other side. I've got it pretty down here, okay? And again, I'm wearing a lighter colored shirt so I can see those transparencies as I go through. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. All right. Again, I'm making my guideline. And if this doesn't go well, the thumbnail title just completely changes and we have brand new content. Right? Again, now you start to see that line developing. Now I'm going to go in again, continue to etch that line out. And I don't recommend talking when you do this, but hey, it's for the content, right? All right, so you see the line forming. And don't go too far to your sides. And remember, guys, if you feel like you're doing something wrong, walk away. You can always come back to this. Okay, just continuing here. And I don't enjoy losing this much beard, but I do believe it is important. Now, this is an important one. I've been digging in here, kind of see my line. It might be a little bit too angled for me. So I'm going to come in a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of coming in, I'm going to turn it to the side. I kind of call it like scraping. And what this does is evens up the underbeard. And you don't want to tilt your head anything too crazy. Tilt it the normal style you wear it. And for me, I like to focus on the trim and worry about the cleanup afterwards. And it is important to remember, this can be a two, three, four day trim. You do not want to rush it.
Okay. So as you see, my beard is already significantly shorter, but essentially my line has remained the same. Be careful not to take too much off the bottom or that underbeard. You want those supporting actors down there. The more you do this, the better you get at it, the more confident you get at it. Now for me, I'm gonna leave this. It might not be my perfect line. It might not be exactly what I want, but it's a dang good start. And I'm gonna be able to come back and reassess. I don't want to keep going, right? The worst thing you can do is chase perfection and say, oh, maybe this side's not perfect. Let me go here, let me go here. And then what you're gonna be doing is that line is gonna slowly creep up. Walk away, come back to it another day, all right? That's gonna be important. For the trim right now, I'm pretty happy with it. This is still a full, thick beard. I just took away some of those transparencies. Now I am very, very happy with how thick that bottom part is. Awesome, okay. I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm not gonna make this too long of a video. Guys, give me your thoughts down below. Have you done one of these trims? Are you due? Do you have some questions for me? I'd love to help you guys out. Thank you for watching today. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.